A lot of you guys keep requesting me to tell you a software that can edit 4K videos, 8K videos and you want support for HDR, Dolby Vision, Atmos and everything. But what if I tell you that I found an editing software that supports a lot more than that and still completely free. The software that I use for that is VideoProc Vlogger which is available for both Mac and Windows. I have put the links in the description so click on the links and start the download and while it downloads in the background you can resume watching the video. I have been using this video editing software's beta version for about 2 weeks and trust me it really blew my mind. What this editing software can achieve being a free software even the most well known paid softwares cannot. You have to see it to believe it. It is designed keeping beginners in mind so all buttons have self explanatory logos and descriptions. You don't really need to learn anything. Everything is just right there. So editing is fast and even faster are the render speeds because of its optimization. When you initially fire up this software it will run a hardware test and show you what all your device is capable of and what is best. Like my device doesn't have a graphic card but does have hardware encoding for AS264 videos. So it detects that and will use it to render my videos at much faster speeds. Now coming to its biggest and my favorite feature. Let me show you. This Dolby Atmos Audio.mkv has Dolby Atmos Audio. First let me prove it to you by showing you the video information. You see here, it has Dolby Atmos Audio. Similarly this file DTSX.mkv has DTSX Audio. This one is a Dolby Vision video and the other one is an 8K video. I'll drop all of them one by one in the timeline and as you see all of them are supported. Alright, so now let me show you all the features one by one. Starting with the main user interface, on the top here you can see add safe lines. I always want to edit my videos in such a way that even if a person pinches to zoom, no valuable information is lost. Just like the iMac scenes, so here you can add those lines for reference. Now look at this, this is a sample slow-mo 60fps video of a walking man and using slow-mo just like a slow-mo is very boring and no films use it just as it is. They put speed effects like sudden slowdown and then rapid speed up or linearly slowing down and then normal speed. Making those effects can take time but Video Proc Logger has those cinematic effects built in. Like check this out, I love this flow effect, perfect to show off the slow-mo and yet not make the shot boring or too long. Or see this effect, double slow-mo. It is used in many advertisements. You can customize your own effect as well. Saves time and looks cool. Now let's talk about color grading. There is this button for color. Click on it and just apply any LUT like Cinematic 8 or this Grassland 6. Wait, let's use the matrix clip I showed you earlier. It is from a very flat and almost like ungraded version so we can try the cinematic LUTs on it. This first cinematic LUT will instantly boost the colors and make it presentable if you want to go with a not very dramatic kind of look. But as you go on with other LUTs like this cinematic LUT 7, you get the exact matrix or tenet kind of look. You can drag the slider to see the before and after or adjust the LUT intensity. And of course you can manually adjust the settings with the sliders to enhance it. Like let's make the contrast to about uh, 40 and exposure to 20 and it looks a bit bluish so let's make the temperature about minus 20 and also let's make it sharper and now see the difference using these LUTs you can make your videos look this cinematic now there are also really fast reframing options this motion editor button right here I will cut the news flying off scene and will put some effects in that select the scene start and split and then scene end again split Select the scene and click on motion editor. Now here you can see there are so many preset motions. Like for suppose this one zoom and rotate. This is a frequently used motion type for aerial shots which you can apply here with the click of a button. Or see this roll clockwise. This effect I also saw in an episode of Loki series. And this everyone's favorite cinematic open. I am sure you must have seen many youtubers using this. So as you see. Like this there are a lot of other motion presets you can use to make your videos really appealing and exciting. And also there are some light hearted effects you can use for fun. Like as soon as new flew off it started snowing. So in the effects tab select the snow effect. And then suddenly the clones realize that they are being live telecasted on an old TV set. So anyway now let's see the transitions. 
Let me randomly cut from the scenes and then we'll apply transitions in between them. I really like this linear blur transition. Just drag the transition onto it or try this zoom blur effect. If you have seen the dark series on Netflix, they have used this transition whenever they alternate between scenes from two different worlds. See mostly movies don't use transitions or just use fade to black. But if you still want there are tons of transitions you can play around with. Honestly there are so many features in this free software that it is impossible to touch everything in a 5 minute video. So I'll come up with more videos to explain more features of video prop logger very soon. Like it's great sound editor. It can do stuff like panning and even beat recognition. You must have seen I have started burning professional looking subtitles in the trailers lately. I'll tell you how I do that using this software. So don't wait, download it right now from the links in the description. And as I have also been using this on my computer, so it's 100% safe you can completely go ahead and download it. The links are in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll be back with more such videos about stuff that you might find interesting.